Hello. I have no idea what time it is. I think it's like 11, 10 or 11 at night. I've been so sleepy all day. So I wanted to get this video up. I am going to do a glow up. We are going to go and do everything. I am talking brows and waxing, skincare, hair care, all of the things. And also look at my nails. Like, Okay, I have never had nails this long before. My nails do not grow. So this is like a miracle for me that they have lasted. They usually are just so thin and then they rip off. And I've never in my life, like I just keep staring at them. So I wanna like do some gel on them and keep them protected. I bought some gel polish and a gel polish lamp recently. My wax warmer is starting to finally melt. And I just keep all of my supplies in this cheetah print box. I got this when I did nails years ago and I used to keep my tools in there and I just keep my brow stuff in there. But I have just like my packet of applicators and tweezers. Tweezer mins are the best, obviously. And I have some wax strips. I need to cut up some more. And I have some little scissors because my hairs literally grow long. I have to trim them. So I just take these big wax strips and I just cut them up. Make little ones. I had to really concentrate on the application because if I don't, I will totally rip off my brows. Ooh. Uh oh. I'm always so fascinated by how much comes off. Like if I collect in my wax hair, I swear I can make a wig. But if you apply pressure like right here, make sure you have clean hands, it like takes the stinging away. But I literally, I don't ever feel stinging because I'm so used to it. Part that really hurts the most is when I tweeze up here. But I just take my skin and I do it like this. I make it taut and then I just tweeze in the direction that the hair grows making sure that I grip the hair. Can you tell the difference? Like this one looks clean, trimmed for the most part. This one still needs some work done, but it makes such a difference, I swear. Brows are the foundation of your face. So I'll show you after I get this one done, this and the sides of my face, how everything looks. I just bought a bunch of stuff recently to do my own gel polish again. This DND brand is exactly what we used in the nail salons. It's what all the nail salons around here use. So I just got it off of Amazon and we'll see how my nails turned out. It's been a few years since I've done it. Look, this is how they turned out. Don't they look good? I didn't even use a detail brush to clean them up. Okay, so this is my hair oiling routine. So I take my hair out of my silk cap or silk hair bun and I start to detangle my hair. I get all of the knots out very gently, not risking getting any loose hairs or uh, hair is attached to my head out because I have very fine and thin hair and if I do any more damage I'm going to become bald so I take my silicone uh, scrub brush and my bamboo brush and I just run that through my scalp to get the blood flow going and to get it invigorated so that way it is ready for the hair oil the fable and main hair oil is what I use and I just take that in one inch sections throughout my head I part it with my fingers and just apply it everywhere even to the back of my head and then I massage that in very very vigorously 
And then I run that also through the ends of my hair and get it nice and oiled up. And it looks shiny. Afterwards, when I get out of the shower, I just, you know, shampoo, condition as normal, use my heat protectant products. And then I go in very gently with cool air to get my hair dry. That is a really important step is that I use cool air instead of hot air to get the cuticle of my hair follicles and hair strands nice and shiny and closed, if that makes any sense. I'm trying to record this as fast as I can. <laughs> the next clip you see is from a few days later. Okay, so I just hopped out of the shower and I just quickly washed my hair and now what I'm going to do is do my weekly facial. I'm letting my steamer open up my pores currently and then I'll walk you step by step through pretty much what I do once a week. So I take my CeraVe Hydrating Cream to Foam Cleanser and I take one of these like gentle exfoliating scrubbing brushes and I just use that to go over my face very gently so that way I get a nice exfoliation without it being too harsh for my sensitive skin. But it's just enough to give it that nice deep clean. So if you can hear it, it like vibrates very, very subtly. And we just pretty much scrape off. And it's just giving these little micro pulses on your skin as you do it. Let's see, I've already removed my makeup for the day, which I wish I would have showed you because it was actually really pretty. I used um, the Huda Beauty palette in Empowered. I showed it in my fall favorites. I love those colors for the fall time, so I thought I would just bring those back. I don't really do this in any particular order. And then I just go down my nose. I haven't done this in quite some time, but when I used to do it consistently, my skin was always super glowy and it was very nice. My makeup laid better. And I just don't trust anybody to touch my face, if I'm quite honest, or my nails, or my hair. I like to do everything myself. Because I just can't find people that understand what I want. Okay, so that is pretty much good for that. Now that my skin is nice and clean with the double cleanse with that cream to foam cleanser, then I just start to go in with my regular products. Here I have a mixture of Korean skincare, which I've been absolutely loving. Um, dermatologist recommended stuff and medical grade skincare. So, I've been using the Tear Tear Milk Skin Toner for a little bit. I really like it. It's very hydrating. Then I put quite a bit on. It's supposed to calm down the redness in your skin. And then after that, I just kind of layer everything based off of the viscosity of the product. After that, like, I'll go in with my Advanced Snail Mucin. Then I will go in with my Korean Serum. 
then my clindamycin lotion, and then after that, my regular daily moisturizing lotion to just kind of lock in, seal, soothe the skin, the pores, the barrier, protect the skin barrier. You should always protect your skin barrier. I swear after I do this, I wake up with the softest, most buttery skin ever, 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 ever. And it's so glowy. I especially concentrate right here in between my eyes on my the bridge of my nose because for whatever reason that is like the driest area on my face. But I have to be very careful to not get it in my eye. And all of my skincare products after I do every single one of them, I just massage them into my hands and it makes my hands incredibly, incredibly soft too. Sometimes if I have time, I'll do a sheet mask, but I haven't picked any up in quite a while. So if there's any that you recommend, especially if they're Korean skincare based, let me know, please. I would love to try them out. By this point, my skin is so hydrated. I don't even really need to go in with this, but I do. It's kind of like a sealant on the barrier for an extra layer of hydration and protection. And it just feels so soothing too. And I just bring it down to my neck. And that pretty much just concludes my weekly facial routine. Sometimes I add other things in, like my high frequency machine. Sometimes I add in a sheet mask, but just for the bare basics, the bones of my at home facial routine, this is basically it. It was a lot simpler than it may look on camera when I'm talking, it slows me down a bit. Okay, so this is the final part of the video. I have done my skincare facial last night. I did my oil treatment a couple of days ago. And now this is just where we get the glam going on, where we put on the makeup, we style the hair, and we just get ready for work. So I'm going to finish putting on my makeup, letting these eye patches just soak in into my eyes and I'll let you know how the final result turns out. I'm just gonna remove those. My skin's feeling pretty soft and moisturized, so I'm just gonna go straight in with my primer and let that cancel out any redness on my face and just create a nice barrier between my skin and the makeup that we're gonna apply. I'm gonna take my Tear Tear Foundation and my Too Faced Born This Way Multi Multi Use Sculpting Concealer as my duo for my base makeup. It is a really good combination. Makeup just lays better when you really invest in your skincare. I have to do my makeup kind of fast today because I'm in a hurry. This cap is about to fall off. So I'm just going to remove it. I washed my hair last night and just left it in the cap. And I still have to brush it. Okay, so hair and makeup is officially complete. I just off camera curled my hair with a wand. I was going to demonstrate and show you, but for whatever reason, my plug-in like would not work. I don't know what's up with that, but anywho, I just did like beachy waves and I added a little bit of bronzer to my eyes. I changed my lip color because my lip color that I had on previously looked pretty washed out, but this is the final result. Thank you so much for watching this video. This was such a long one to film. I filmed this over a span of multiple days. So I put a lot of effort into it. So please like and comment on it and share it. So until next time, bye.